The proper position of a holder when he's going to hold for a football place kick or extra point or field goal is that he needs to be close enough to the spot where the ball can be placed comfortably, but he needs to be far enough away so that he doesn't distort the view of the kicker as he goes to swing at the ball. I will use this coin to represent the specific spot where the ball will be placed and show you how that the holder should line up with regard to the spot. So here's the spot where the kicker is going to, we're going to put the ball so that the kicker can kick the football. So when I get in my stance, I want to make sure that my front foot, front knee is bent and it's on the ground. And I want to put the middle of my body right across from where the coin is. This gives me an easy opportunity to uh, set the ball right in the middle of my body. I want to be far enough away that I'm comfortable so that my arm is at, at full length. If I get too close to this, then what happens is, as the kicker swings, my foot or my knee could actually be in the way or he could see that. So you want to sit about arm's length away, nice and comfortable, not so that I'm stretched out, but this I can comfortably hang my arm down. My front knee is tucked. You can open it slightly just like this. And the front knee needs to be down and the back knee needs to be up. You need to sit flat so that my my, my ankle is fully extended backward and I'm sitting on my ankle, okay? And we need to have this front leg down so that we can catch a misdirected snap. We can't assume that the snap won't be high, won't be outside or somewhere. So we can catch a misdirected snap. That way the, the front leg is down. I also think you should be slightly open so that you can reach over to your side. If you're closed off and you're too straight, then you're this, this the snap that's over to my right tends to be hard to catch. So I'm slightly open. This the position I'm going to put the ball in, whether you're using a tee or you're going to use uh, kick off the ground, is right in my crotch. I'm arm's length away. Here's the stance from a side view so that you get an idea of the proper position. I'm going to put the, the coin where the ball will be placed, which, sim, which represents where the ball will be placed, right in the middle of my stance. I'm going to be a comfortable arm's length away. I'm slightly open, and that way I can catch the misdirected snap that's to my right, or I can catch it high. And this is what it looks like from the side view when you're going to hold for place kicks. In order to give the snapper a target and to allow the kicker to continue to see the spot, especially when you're not using a tee, you want to keep the left hand right where the kicker has put his toe that he wants the ball to be placed. As I'm, as I'm watching the kicker take his steps back, I'm going to check the line and make sure everybody is ready to be set or to give him my command. And once I see that line, I'm going to look back at the kicker and I'm going to watch him. And once he's done with his steps and he gives me a nod, I'm going to put my hand up outstretched, my finger spread just as I was going to catch a pass so that the center knows that the kicker is ready and I'm about to give the command. So it'll look like this. The kicker puts his foot down, my hand, my foot, hand stays there. As he's going back, I check the line, make sure everybody's ready and I have enough men. Then I go back and look at the kicker. I wait for him to give me a nod. When he gives me a nod, I'll put my hand up as a target for the center with my finger spread just like I'm going to catch a pass. When the ball comes, I'll remove my hand, put my index finger and my thumb together just like I'm catching a pass so that the spiral goes right in the tip uh, of, that, of that circle and I'll catch the pass just like this. From the side view, this is what it looks like. Coins in the middle of my stance, slightly open, front foot down, back foot up. Check, kicker's giving me the spot. I'm checking across the line, make sure I have enough, make sure everybody's ready for me to give them a command. I look back at the kicker. I wait for him to give me a nod. When he gives me a nod, 
I put my hand up as a target for the snapper. I want to put that target right about the height that I want to catch it. When the ball comes, I'll release that spot, put my hands up, make a circle with my thumb and index finger, and catch the football. The proper way to catch the ball when it's snapped to you is to make a circle with your thumb and index finger and catch it arm's length away from your body. You don't want to catch it here into your body. You want to catch it away from your body so that you have time to get it and get it down quicker. So I've got a circle with my thumb and index finger just like I'm playing receiver. The ball comes in and I squeeze it and catch it. Now once I catch it, I'm going to put more pressure and basically grip it like I'm going to throw a pass on my right hand. This allows me to slide my left hand to the top and I can put the ball down with my right hand only. I don't want to put the ball down and hold it with my right finger because my hand, my left hand will be on the back of the ball where the kicker is going to see and he'll, he'll seize my hand instead of the spot on the ball. So I'm going to catch the ball away from my body like a pass. I'm going to grip it just like I'm, I'm going to throw a pass and then I'm going to slide my finger to the top as I'm putting it down and then I'm going to put it down right on the spot. As When the ball hits, my finger is already on top of the ball, so all I have to do is remove my front hand or spin and then remove my front hand. So this is what it looks like from the side. Spot in the middle of my crotch, arms length away, slightly open. The ball comes, I catch it, I palm it with my right hand grip, I slide my finger down and put it. So the only thing the, the kicker ever sees is the back of the ball because I'm using one hand strong grip to put it down and slide my finger up. The only thing he sees is the back of this ball. That's all he ever sees. Then as he comes, I remove my hand and he never sees this hand being removed and I can get it out of the way really quick. Okay. The technique for spinning the ball. If I catch it and the laces aren't where they're supposed to be, as I bring it down, I can feel and see where the laces is. If the laces are to my finger side, then I'll turn it with my fingers this way. If the laces are to my thumb side, I'll turn it with my thumb this way. And that's how I get the laces so they're always in front. So I can feel that or sense that as I bring it down. If they're all the way in the back, then I just spin it with whichever one I'm comfortable. I prefer to spin it with my thumb. Some guys prefer to spin it with their fingers. So once again, I catch the laces. If they're already there, I can feel them, and then I just set the ball down. Okay? Here's what it looks like from the front when you spin the ball. Catch the ball at arm's length. Palm it in my, grip it with my right hand like I'm gonna throw it. As I put it down, slide my right finger up. The laces are to my finger, so I'm gonna spin it with my fingers toward my body. If I catch the laces on the thumb side, I put it down and I spin it with my thumb. Most field goal kickers like the ball turned to the holder just slightly. And what that does is it matches up their, the angle of their foot with the sweet spot a little better. So here's what it would look like if I did the whole thing. Catch the ball. Catch the ball. And that's how you incorporate getting the ball in the right position for the kicker.
Good. Good. Hey! Hey! Let's look like hey! Hey! Let's look like hey! Hey! 